friends, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. Today our project is to go get the rebar we need for the root cellar. Alright friends, here's a quick animation to show you where all this rebar is going. I purchased 151 pieces, each at 20 feet long. That gives you a total of 3,020 feet of rebar. The total weight was 2,300 pounds. As you can see, this is a major component required in the ICF below grade wall and deck span system. It took me nine hours of labor and six grinding cutting wheels to produce 297 specific pieces required for this project. None of this includes the stirrups and I need 170 stirrups to be either cut or bent. The stirrups are represented as those orange pieces in the video above shaped in the letter S. All right, friends, the best information that I found that's easy to understand and to help me stay within the code requirements are these three PDF files up here. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can be able to download those. Tons of information, a lot of drawings, a lot of pictures. It'll help you understand clearly what you're doing and why you're doing it. I'm going to put one more link down below for Bill Block's version on building a FEMA storm shelter. A lot of good information there as well. All right, friends, today we're gonna go get the rebar. And uh, it was just a couple days ago we made the decision to have an excavator come in and dig the hole for the root cellar. May 5th today, a little bit of ice. This is climate zone 6, northern Michigan. The weather is different. Okay, friends, I just returned from picking up the rebar. It, uh, it's quite a load. That's a, that's a half inch bar at number four. They measure in eighths. Four eighths of an inch is a half, so that's a number four bar. Same thing as a half inch. That is a number six bar, which is three quarter inch. And um, the drawing uh, specked out number five bar. They didn't have any, so I bumped it up. Um, I bumped it up from five eighths to three quarter because they didn't have any five eighths. Being that I'm spanning 12 feet, my per square foot weight went up. Uh, I put a lot of heavier load there. I mean, uh, three quarters bar, I could probably put the backo on top of it. And Nobody's ever going to be on top of it with a backhoe because there's going to be a building on top of it. And only people walking in there and, and uh, it's a greenhouse. So it's, uh, it's a bit overkill. But to keep the project moving, that's what I chose to do. Got it. Got to roll with these things when they jump out at you. Um, and uh, so now I got to pick a home for this. Uh, I want to get it off the trailer, get it out of the way. I can pick it up with uh, a couple of chains in the backhoe. And so, let's get this thing unloaded. And there's a total of 151 sticks. Um, so, uh, at 16.98, um, with the tax, 16.98 is going towards the greenhouse project. And I still have the stirrups. Uh, that's coming later down the road, and that's for the roof section. 
Okay, friends, that's it. We got the rebar on site. I'm happy about that um, because in the last two months, as I've been checking prices, uh, they've gone up uh, about a dollar fifty uh, each, uh, whether it's half inch or three eighths or five eighths. Uh, the prices are just ridiculous. Uh, they're not stopping. Each time you call and ask for a quote or go down there and talk to them, they say, oh, "You better get it now because at the end of the month we got another price increase." And uh, it seems like that's the norm nowadays. So I got it. It's here. It's on site. And today it's going to be cut up the rebar for the root cellar. And I don't know if this is a three-day job or a six-day job. I'm really not sure. I haven't done anything like this before. And um, I plan on uh, running around with the tape measure, marking them, and then coming by a grinder with a thin cut blade on it. Um, it's like a little chop saw with a real thin cut uh, blade. And you just uh, cut right through it. Now, the one thing is um, they didn't have any 5 5.8s, um, so I upgraded to 3 quarter. That's heavier, it's going to take more effort to cut through that. Um, but that's what I have to do to uh, make sure that this project keeps moving forward. I have my uh, cut list right here. Let's take a little closer look at that. So let's start out with a number four half inch bar. Um, let's cut 34 pieces, 30 inches long and see how long that takes. All right, I'm going to show you the uh, tool that I'm going to use to cut all this rebar. Little grinder, a four and a half inch grinder, it takes a four and a half inch uh, disc. And uh, I'm going to be using these thin cut saw blades, 0.045 in thickness, real thin. This is a pack of five and they, they fit right on there. Here's a single one, you can see how thin that is. And uh, Supposed to just cut right through there. So we're gonna see how well that turns out. You know, easier said than done. Number four, half inch rebar. Gonna cut 34 pieces, 30 inches long. I'll be using an, a paint marker and a tape measure to get things marked out. Thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty. hours into it Three hours, 180 pieces, and I'm on uh, my third cutting wheel. And I'm back here on the rebar project. Uh, this will be the second time I've worked on it. I plan on just cutting uh, 30 pieces of the three quarter, uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, that's gonna be a big job. Um, if I spend two minutes on each piece uh, times 30, that's uh, that's one hour. And uh, the time they're getting all set up and then uh, marking everything and then moving them, uh, making room and stacking them, um, this could uh, turn out to be about a two hour job.
I uh, went a little further than I thought. Uh, I got my 30 pieces, 3 quarter inch and 11 foot 2 inch. I have that and that's all I was going to do uh, besides the small number 3 rebar, the 15 inch pieces uh, for the stirrups. That's another project so I just wanted to get a head start on that. And then I was going to stop there but things were rolling pretty good and I end up cutting 23 pieces at 79 inches as well. Um, so uh, I actually took the leftover from the 11 footers, chopped them down and got my uh, 79 inch pieces and 23 of those. So I'm well satisfied with uh, how it turned out today. We're getting quite a, uh, a stock of all kinds of uh, uh, rebar, uh, different lengths, different sizes. Um, but it's all going to work according to the plan and um, I hope you stick around and see some of the videos as we uh, actually install these. Um, so, but that's going to be a, a few weeks down the road. But for today, we had a, a productive day, a safe day, and um, I think it's time to wrap it all up, clean up, and head in and uh, throw all these clothes in the washer. It is, this is some dirty work, I'm telling you, this rusty stuff, dirty work four hours today and um, we started out uh, today there was 180 pieces cut I'm roughly around 250 cut now looking at this list I only have about 24 more pieces to cut um, then after that we got the stirrups that I've been talking about but that's coming later and another thing that I haven't mentioned some of these all these uh, 20 footers. I got a whole bunch of them still sitting down here. Some for other projects, but there is 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 25 of them that have to be bent 90 degrees. Um, so that's another project. But uh, we're getting closer. Uh, today we're going to add four hours to the list uh, for the project. And um, that's it. We're wrapping it up. Hope you have a good evening. This is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on another video. And if you liked it, please subscribe.